Hey guys, welcome back to Craft Room Chat, where we, you know, kind of calm down and just get real for a little bit. No. <laughs> so, you know, you still get to see my pretty little desk there. Actually, I'll go ahead and make myself a little bit bigger. But you still get to see the craft mat, because we're still in the craft room, right? You get to see my vacuum, too. <laughs> but I wanted to... um today talk a little bit about kind of what I learned or what I have learned since I have began begun crafting <laughs> so I started crafting kind of young but I didn't really get immersed until about I think it was three years ago when I made my YouTube channel and so far it's been a pretty wild journey you know it it really it's interesting to look back and see how much my my growth has been and I'm when I'm a person that I kind of hop from that's why I'm a gen, I'm a general crafter <laughs> I hop from different crafts so I'm I'm kind of ADD I guess <laughs> when it comes to crafting <laughs> but I don't think it's a bad thing so but anyways one thing I've learned since you know coming through this journey is that it's okay to get frustrated with a project it's okay to get frustrated with somebody who you know doesn't really respect your work because you're not as long as you don't act on that frustration if you're just cool about it and you say you know it's okay if they're just gonna throw that in the trash because I enjoyed making it it was my 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 release I guess I get well it depends on what you do as a crafter or an artist how you express yourself but what I have learned for myself is I enjoy the process I do enjoy when people receive the items but I love creating it so it's taken me quite a while to understand you know I don't really mind if someone just throws it in the trash I don't mind if it sits in a box for a while before I take it to someone I don't mind if it's not even it's my best work because I enjoyed creating it it is something new it is something different it well most of the time <laughs> some things are a little the same but I try to, you know, do a little bit different everything. But I had fun creating it. And I think that is one of the one of the most important things that a crafter or an artist can can, you know, eventually work their way towards is actually having fun doing that work and not receiving the gratification which is nice too don't get me wrong but using your creations you know seeing them as an artist I think it, it takes a lot of self-awareness I think to get into that groove it also takes a lot of um, courage because you gotta be able to kind of stand up and say you know this is good this is it's not trash <laughs> I'm not gonna stop making things because people think it's weird because I enjoy it so I think that's one of the biggest things I've learned I know we got deep today oh. <laughs> but it, it kind of is something important I think when you think about it it's something that everyone should really feel about anything that they're doing you don't need to do it for other people it's for you so I hope you guys 
you know, find that or strive to something that you kind of feel you need to go towards. <laughs> Whatever makes sense there. <laughs> so what is uh, what is the biggest thing that you think you have learned since you know you have started crafting or arting <laughs> in general? Well, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's the craft room chats aren't very long, but you know it's just a little bloop. <laughs> little bloop in the day you know well I hope you guys like this video make sure to leave a thumbs up if you are liking this kind of intimate thing <laughs> just getting down and talking about you know different crafting emotions and whatnot but I hope you guys like this video I hope you're having a crazy day not too crazy got oh not too crazy good crazy not bad crazy and I will see you in the next video maybe Oh no. Bye.